So to load your first job in your UpMini software, you're going to want to hit load. So if you're using a PC, the layout might look a little different, but all the commands and buttons should be the same. They just might be at the top bar here. So you want to hit load, and then you can upload any STL file. You can download them from the internet or generate them yourself. So I'm going to print a carabiner. So it's going to open outside of the print platform. To get it to where it needs to be, you want to hit auto placement. And if you want to scale it, you can click over to the scale uh, button, pick what you want to scale it by. I want to make mine smaller, so I'm going to go with 0.8, hit the scale button and then hit auto placement again. And you can do the same if you need to rotate a part or if you need to move it also. So now this is all ready to print. You can move it and check out your model by holding and dragging around. If you ever see red on the green model, that means there's some kind of reverse normal or some kind of problem in the CAD and it won't be able to print. So if, print, if the model's all green in the software, you're ready to print. So now you're going to want to go to 3D print, print, and here you can open the preferences and this is where you can choose the bead size or the layer size, which is really nice that you can choose that. I'm going to stick with 0.35 just to have it go fast. You can pick if you want it solid, hollow, um, loose just means somewhere in between solid and hollow, it's like a honeycomb texture inside, big hole, um, even though it's a little lost in translation. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just a larger honeycomb, so it's um, a faster alternative to loose. Uh, you probably want to leave everything else the same. Hit OK, and then the quality is where you can choose fine, normal, fast. So it's assumed here that fine takes longer. I'm going to stick with normal for right now. And you're probably going to want to, I, I definitely recommend for your first couple of jobs, printing with a raft, which is the auto setting, so it says no raft here. Um, just print with the raft a couple times and then maybe try a print with no raft so you can get um, a feel for the difference. Printing with a raft ensures uh, a better print that sticks into that perforated cell board that I was talking about earlier. So now you're going to want to hit OK. And you're going to notice in the bottom here it's sending data. Um, it's going to send, say, how many layers it's sending, out of how many layers it needs to send. It's going to beep when it's ready and then it's going to tell you the grams of material it's going to use and how long it's going to take. So this print is going to take seven minutes. So I'm going to hit OK. And then if you look at your machine, you can notice that the button here is going to be flashing uh, between blue and red until it's ready to print. It's just heating up. So once it reaches its the optimum temperature, it's going to begin the print. So a couple of other notes here, it does get really hot inside this chamber, um, so your machine should come with this pair of gloves. So be safe, make sure you wear your gloves when you're operating inside the machine if it's hot. Another hint is that if you want to see your prints, you can swing the door open and watch it while it's printing, even though it's recommended to keep the door closed. If you wanted to sneak a peek, um, it shouldn't be detrimental to open the door to take a look, but we're going to recommend that you keep the door closed for most of the prints. And that's why if you see there's a light in here, and to operate the light, you click this button twice, and it should turn it on and off. So if you have the light on, Oops. It's going to start printing now. So it beeps like that um, when it's done heating up, and then it beeps three times right before it's going to launch the print.
Okay, there we go. So now that the light's on, you can see it. The door is a little translucent, so you can see it uh, during the through the window. So I'm gonna let this print run, and I'm gonna let it run with the door open so you guys can see it. And then we're going to walk you through how to take your print off of the cell board and some tips and tricks to cleaning it up.